Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today what we're going to do is take a look at the eTrailer hitch mounted cargo carrier on our 2020 Chrysler Pacifica. So this is going to be relatively a standard size, about 24 inches by 60 inches, and it is going to get quite a bit of all of that gear out of the inside of your Pacifica and onto the back. Some options for storage might be on the roof, but if you don't really want to do that or you're already using something on the roof, getting a hitch mounted cargo carrier is going to take care of that for you. The Pacifica can carry quite a bit of passengers, about three rows of seats, so they're going to have a lot of stuff. And I know when I go to Florida or some long trip where I'm in the car a lot, I like my leg room. So with this, we're going to be able to get that leg room for all the kiddos so they're just a lot more happier going down the road. So again, 24 by 60 and these sides are going to be about five and a half inches tall. So we will be able to stack up quite a bit, all of our gear a little bit higher than the sidewalls here. Everything's going to be made of a steel construction, nice powder coated finish. So it is going to resist against rust and corrosion over time. The mesh floors are going to be able to hold up to all that 500 pounds of stuff that you can put on here. And the nice thing about the mesh bottom is just, if you have wet gear after a beach or sandy gear, trust me, you do not want to have sand in the carpets, super hard to clean. So you can just put all that stuff back here, it'll fall through and hopefully just dry on the way home. So one thing that some people are concerned about is whether or not they're gonna be able to access the back of the vehicle when this thing is installed. So we are going to be able to, but it just depends on how high we stack all of our stuff. So let's check this out. It is called the breakaway point. And once this door hits that tape measure, which was at about 25 inches. So we're gonna be able to stack our stuff up on the back half here, about 25 inches high before we're gonna have contact with our back hatch. So just be mindful of that. But one thing that we could get around with the features that we have on this cargo carrier is we can actually tilt it away. So with it in this orientation, about 25 inches, but what we can do, it's pretty cool. We can pull this pin out and also this pin, and then we're gonna be able to tilt it down. So let's see if we're even gonna have any contact, even if we had this thing stacked up real high. So. Let's check it out. We got, I'm confident to say it's probably not even gonna hit, and it doesn't, maybe way up there, but I doubt you're gonna have close to four or five feet on your cargo carrier. So that is going to take care of that problem altogether. So we'll be able to access the back of our hatch up to 25 inches of stuff in the normal position, and obviously as much as we want almost with this position. So that's definitely a plus. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna put it back in the normal position for a little bit. I'm just gonna put one pin in there for now. Cause I just wanna do some measurements just to see how much length we added to the back of our Pacifica from the bumper to the edge here. It's gonna be about 39 and a half inches. So be mindful of that. And at the 39 and a half inch point, we're not gonna have a whole lot of ground clearance, about 11 inches. The Pacifica does not really sit up too high. So I think we might have a little bit of issues if you're going off-roading, but I mean, it's a van. I don't necessarily think it's even built for that kind of stuff. So I think unless we just have an, an aggressive driveway or some of those big dips in the road, we might not have a whole lot of issues bottoming out. But, so let's go ahead and figure out how much length we can take off the back. And what I mean by that is we can actually tilt this up towards the vehicle by pulling that pin, tilting it up like so, and then obviously replacing the pin. Kind of have to wiggle it back and forth to get it in there. And this is a feature that not a lot of cargo carriers have, and it's definitely something I look for just because I'm not always gonna be using it, and I don't necessarily want to take this thing out every single time. So for instance, I was at the lake once, 
and I got all my stuff off of it, but I didn't have a place to put it, so I just tilted it up just so no one would hit me in the parking lot. So, let's go and take a look how much this is gonna take off. It's only gonna be about a half inch over a foot, so I think that'll be definitely safe enough to be able to you know, drive around like this. It's not a whole lot of length. One thing you gotta remember though, we do have a backup camera on our Pacifica. It is gonna obstruct the view a little bit. But up top here, let's take a look at what we can actually add. Uh, as you can see here, we actually are pretty much in line with our taillights, but if you would like to add some taillights here or reflectors, we do have a kit for that online as well. And of course, a license plate holder, and that would be good for if you do stack your stuff up kind of high, you won't be able to see your license plate, and you don't want to get pulled over when you're on vacation, so I say just go ahead and grab that. Looking down at our shank, we are going to have the two pins that come with the kit. We're going to have a relatively nice rise to our shank, and it is going to be only available for our two-inch hitch receivers. One thing that this cargo carrier comes with, which is awesome, is this little hitch alignment tool. So with anti-rattle bolts, which this one does come with as well, you have to get that hole perfectly lined up and you don't want to be sticking your fingers in there because it could hurt and you could lose a finger. So with this tool, you kind of just slide it on there, get it lined up perfectly, tighten it down. It just makes putting it in the hitch so easy. So that's what comes with it and an anti-rattle bolt and you know exactly what that does. It says it in the name, no rattle inside the hitch, which is definitely a plus. You don't have to worry about hearing that noise whenever you're going down the road. Well, everyone, I hope this kind of summed it all up for you just to see what kind of features I like in a cargo carrier and also what kind of features this one provides. If it's not everything that you would like, we have so many at our website, so just go ahead and check all that out. Again, this was the e-trailer cargo carrier on our 2020 Chrysler Pacifica. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. 